What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial. It is baseball season, and I thought it would be fun to make a design for a baseball. We're going to use Adobe Express today for that and uh, set it up to where it could be engraved on a baseball using XCS and the X tool P2 3D engraver. Now, I use Photoshop and Illustrator for most of my designs, as you all know, but I thought this time, you know, let's try something different and see if we can make a cool design with this. So we'll, we'll get started, as it says here, get started. I'm in Adobe Express right now, and if I go to create a new image, I'll use Landscape right now. That'll work fine. And I will go over here to Elements and search for, I'm a Phillies fan, for better or for worse, mostly for worse. Uh, so I'll search for Liberty Bell and see what we can find it. Do you have a number of graphics that are in here to use that are good? And it's not bad. I like this one here with the lines coming out of it. Almost like it is ringing in there. Maybe put this here kind of in the middle. Maybe rotate this a little bit like it is. Um, like it is ringing. Add a little motion to it there. And let's find some text. And... Oh, ring, bell, and let's find a cool typeface to use in here. There are a bunch of these that are available in Adobe fonts just to look at, and you know, something. I do like this open regular. That looks pretty good. Go with solid black. That would work well with this graphic. Uh, CC smash inline regular. I that a lot. That does look pretty good. Maybe make this a little bit bigger in here for right now, and we'll kind of with that. Now, with this, I might actually do something where it's kind of angling with this bell. Maybe I'm going to have ring on one side and the bell go on to the other side. That's not a bad idea. If I hold down Alt and I click and drag and duplicate. Let's, let's maybe go ring on one side. And the bell on the other side. Size so they're kind of both the same size. But then I'll... Let's try maybe putting ring right up here in the upper left-hand side of this bell right here. Right up next to those rays coming out of it. And then, well, I'd like this to be a little more centered uh, with that. So maybe we can highlight the we can shrink that down a little bit. Maybe put this so the word the kind of comes out to the end of the bell right there. Not bad, maybe. Uh, 
though. I'm not hating that at all. And then if I select all of that and just make this take up most of the room on here, this is going to be really big compared to the baseball, but it's always, I don't know, I find when I'm going this route, it's better to make it with the detail and to have it shrunk down than to have it too small and to make it bigger. And I may use this design for something else time down the road. Yeah, I think that is looking pretty good. Now I am kind of missing something in here. I mean, it ring the bell. That is fine. Exclamation mark. So. Just a little bit. Here. Here we go. I like that. But maybe something with like an actual small player. And baseball player. Let's see what we have in here. Some of these on here, it's like volleyball player. I like the idea of the baseball player hitting this bell. That is kind of cool. We have a couple options here. I'm going to bring this one. No, I don't really want that one. Actually, That could be cool. And then also this one. I'm going to bring in both of these graphics. Position. And flip horizontally. So that I like. Uh, then if I go here to effects. Custom. And just. Uh, bright colors and the dark colors both. Select black. So we got that silhouette look on there. That's not too bad. I do like that. There's this one too that kind of intrigued. Same thing here. Make this one a little so that look. It actually maybe hide that ball there. That is kind of cool too. Now they're both at just the right angle for this bell. Like that. This one I I almost like this baseball player better, but then we have to move it down a little bit there. And it's kind of getting outside of the shape of our design. This one here, I'm not as big a fan of it, but I can put this here and that does look pretty good right there. And then it's kind of, it's in there. That is solid. Okay. So this I do think is a decent little design for the baseball. Uh, so to kind of wrap this thing up, what I need to do here is maybe go to background. And I want to choose transparent for this. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to go to download. And then I'm going to select PNG. Uh, once I'm done with that, then the next part of this process is bringing this design into our uh, XCS program that we use to uh, put this into our laser engraver. Okay, so we have our XCS program here opened up and now we're ready to bring in our image that we created. There's our ring the bell and we'll say yes 
skillet to fit on the canvas. This is something we'll definitely have to uh, scale down because we did make it so big. And then on here, you'll see we have this option up here where it says process on slats. And I'm not using slats. I actually have the extender uh, on my printer on here and I removed the slats out and then I just put the tray in there to where we could put the ball on there. So I'm gonna go here to where it says curved material and I'm gonna select that. And here you can see where the extender is on the bottom of this engraver. And then I just have this roll that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to place the ball right on to this roll, just as straight as I can. Now there is the attachment that can rotate objects but this isn't going to be a very big logo that's going to wrap around the entire ball and because of these settings i'm going to show you we will be able to uh, map out this curved surface and then place the object on there i'm going to close this up here and then i'm going to set my camera up here so you can see what's going on and i'll kind of dual screen this a little bit so you can see kind of what's going on in both areas uh, so i have my graphic on here and then up here next to curved material it says it has this little graphic here i'm going to click on that and then you'll see here where it's showing us how we map this out so it's not like our other things where we would go in and use the camera to set it up it's going to use that laser to kind of map that out for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this and as I click these arrows, it's moving the laser. So my first part of the process here is I'm using the control on this keyboard. I'm using the mouse and then I'm getting that laser to where it's showing on the baseball on there, to where it's kind of showing up on there. Hopefully you can, you can kind of see that on there. But then once I get it centered in there, then I'm just going to move this setting here on the computer down to 10 so it's not moving quite so drastically. I'm going to move that to the left. And then I can move this down a little bit to where it'll show up on the ball there. Once that first angle is on there, then I just click vortex one or vertex one mark. All right, and now I need the second reference point. That might be a little bit too far over there, so I might move this to five. We go right about there. And then I will move this down. To about there. I think that'll work. And then I'm going to click vertex 2 mark. And then I'm going to click next. And that light in the in the engraver when i click start measuring it's going to turn off and you'll see it's moving that laser around there around the ball and it, i hope you can kind of see that on here you might not be able to see it on that video but basically it's moving that laser around and mapping these points and then here you can change what you want the smoothness and tension to be and then i'm going to click done so now it gives me a little mapped area on here and you can see how much smaller i need to make that so i'll go ahead and put this down here and i'm going to zoom in a lot so i can see what room that i have to work with on this 
And I probably need to crop this image down because sometimes when the cropping area is out of the mapped area, then it won't let you start it. So I'm going to shrink that down so we won't have that problem. And then I'll go to save. All right, and now I have a little bit more room to work with in here. So I'm going to set this in here to where it's just barely smaller than the rectangle. All right, that looks pretty good. And then uh, once I'm over here for the materials, you know, I need to click on this on this picture and it asks me what I need for power. And I'm just going to go maybe with like 5% power. And then I'm going to have the speed be 100. I have tried this a few times uh, with just kind of a test baseball on here. And this is kind of a setting that's worked a little bit, but, you know, it's kind of engraving these on baseballs is a little bit tough because it's not just like cheap wood or anything. It's something where you kind of don't want to mess it up too many times because then it can be kind of a pricey experiment. Uh, but this looks good. 5% and speed 100. I know that'll work for this. And then as you can see, I do have that little label on there where it says China. So if I was going to do this on an actual ball, I would select one of those that doesn't have all the markings. They have those autograph balls and everything that have no markings on them at all. You can find them on Amazon. This is just one that was cheap here at a sporting good store. There was like, I don't know, I think I got like six of them for like 10 bucks or something like that. So I, it wasn't going to bother me too much if I made some mistakes. So we're just testing this out and we'll see those letters between them. That's okay. Then I'm going to go here to process and we'll go up here to start. And then I just need to push the big round button on the engraver to get this thing started. Now let's see what happens. And there it is. We have our cool logo design that we made. Didn't turn out too bad on there at all. Um, you might like soak these in water. Maybe you put some tape over the edge if you want to play around with that. But the scorching around the outside of the logo is not too bad on that at all. And it's, it'd be a fun keepsake, you know, for uh, your kid's little league team or for a senior baseball player from high school, you know, is uh, like a little graduation gift or something like that. But yeah, I think uh, this is a pretty solid way to uh, make a customized baseball that you can display in your, in the man cave or, you know, in your office or wherever. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you've tried this out with, with any baseballs or anything like that and have had some better luck using some different methods. I love to hear about them in the comments. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And I hope we catch you on another tutorial video down the road.